Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, um, I'll be doing a tag which I've seen a couple of videos of. It's called the Coach Superlatives. Um, this is this was started by Noble Strength here in YouTube. So I'll link her channel below. Um, and then I've seen a couple of YouTubers uh, doing the same the tag as well so I decided to join in um, I don't have a lot of coach bags in my collection but I think I have something for all of the categories I'm not sure if I really got it right so yeah let's start so the first category is the most carried bag so as you can see from this from the screen this is my coach Cassie. So this is in the, the regular size um, Cassie. This is my most carried bag. So uh, I'll just show you quickly what's inside. There is three compartments. Uh, it comes with an adjustable and removable strap. It has uh, ox blood fabric lining and then it's pebbled leather. So I've been using this bag quite a lot um, since I got it. It's a nice alternative to my pochette Matisse, especially if I wanted a black bag with the same shape. So even though I've used this, I did I don't see a lot of wear and tear. So I'm really happy that I got this bag. The second uh, most used bag is or the most carried bag is my Laura Carry All 30. So this is the smaller version in color block. And yeah, um, as I, I think I mentioned it in the previous video, I didn't expect that I would love this bag. But when I first saw it, um, when it arrived here, I don't know, there's something about this bag that um, captured my eye and I think it's really pretty and beautiful. That's why I kept on using this one. And it actually probably made me, in, uh, like, influenced me to buy a lot of triple compartment bags. So this is my first uh, triple compartment bag, well, in this style, because I have the Cassie and plus also th uh, three compartments. But for this one, um, yeah, I since then I have plenty of bags with this type of uh, design. So there's a, a big compartment in the middle and you can have just a front and a back pocket. So in, in the inside, uh, there is just a, um, a pocket here. And then uh, this is, comes with this strap. So this is an adjustable and a removable strap as well, the same color as the handles. Um, but I prefer like thicker straps, so that's why I bought this one. Um, it's almost the same color, but um, but I love thicker straps, especially if I want to have it as a shoulder bag. So I bought this one. I in Shopee, I think, um, and I like it because you can actually use it different. Um, you can use it uh, reversible. It's a reversible strap. So there's a black one and a red one here. So I use this instead of the of the strap that it came with. Um, but yeah, I've been using this one as well, even though it's my most one of my most carried bag. Um, it doesn't have any wear in there as well. So it has feet, um, which I think is an advantage. And even though it's white, I'm pretty afraid of white bags because I wear dark colored clothing. Um, but I haven't, I don't see any dirt. So yeah, but I tried to wipe it after I, I use this bag or before I store it. So yeah, these are my two most carried bags. Okay, so for my least uh, carried bag, this is the Troop uh, shoulder bag. And this is also actually my most admired bag. So first of all, the reason why 
this is my least, least carried bag is because I haven't used it. As you can see, there is still the tag here. Um, I haven't gotten the chance to use it. I was planning to use it for, you know, night outs or dinners. But since we're in this current situation, I don't have a lot of opportunities to go out and, you know, meet friends or loved ones. So, yeah, it, it doesn't... I'm a bit sad that I haven't used it yet, um, but I'm looking forward to the day where I can, you know, you can I can use this bag. So this is also in the pebbled leather, and it also it opens like so, and then there's also two major two major compartments here, and then there's a zippered pocket in the middle. Um, it's also leather here, so. I really like this one. This is from the 1941 collection, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So, I like this one. Um, and then, this is also my most admired bag, at least for me. Um, again, there are some bags that really pictures uh, don't do justice. I've been seeing this um, bag from a reseller. And at first, I didn't like notice it or it. I said it's pretty but it's not really for me so but when I first um, got it you know there's like there's this moment where you first saw the bag for the first time like really for the first time you haven't seen it anywhere like um, because you can only see the pictures and you and it's not really as a popular bag so you cannot really see it anywhere at least from my side of the planet so yeah, um, and then when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, this bag is so beautiful. Looking at looking at this now, I really feel sad that I haven't used it yet. So hopefully I have a chance in the future um, to use this bag because I, I know that I will be enjoying this a lot. So this is my least carried bag, sadly, and but this is also my most admired bag. Okay, so for the next category, so this is um, for the most complimented bag. I actually have two bags. So for me, when you say most complimented, these are the bags that I get compliments from a lot of people uh, whenever I wear them. So the first one is the Coach uh, Big Beat Shoulder Bag and the signature print and also in the horse and carriage print as well um so this one i get a lot of compliments whenever i use this one i haven't had the chance to like pretty uh, often use this bag but when i do a lot of people uh come come up to me and then complimented how beautiful the bag is so i recently have a video on this on my channel so yeah uh let me show you what it looks like so again uh there is two compartments with a zipper compartment in the middle there is also a slip pocket here um it comes with an adjustable and a removable strap it also has another like a chain strap and also a cup handle strap on the back we have the uh, slip pocket here which i like and then there are ridges at the bottom of the bag and also in on the side so it can stand on its own so i really love love this bag and I think a lot of people do. So the second most complimented bag that I have is the Hello Tabby 19. Uh, this one is in the vintage purple color. So I think I've also received a lot of compliments for this bag, especially with um, the younger people, I think. Um, they, they've asked me where did I bought this because um, I think this one is exclusive to the department stores in the US. I'm not sure if it's available here in the coach store but yeah. Um, I like this bag um, but 
admittedly it's very small so there's no there's nothing much that i can you know put on this one so i mostly use it when i go on errands or you know just going out for a quick for a quick um errand or coffee runs so but i really love it so until now it's very fluffy and what else i don't see a lot i don't see any wear and tear as well i'm a bit afraid of this one because it's very soft and it's very smooth so i feel like i might scratch it but i think i've come to the point of not really caring about scratching my bags um because i feel that you can see that it's well loved right if it has any like battle scars for the bag so yeah this one this only this i think is the only bag that i have that has the what do you call this pewter or dark hardware so yeah um it, it comes with a strap with the same color but i also have several chain straps here just to change the look of the bag so i also have a video of this one on my channel so yeah one of my most complimented bags okay so for the next category the most artistic bag um i don't think it's a surprise but this is um uh, the george georgie saddle if i'm not mistaken in the k facet print so I recently also did a video on this one on my channel. I like the design and also the prints. So for me, it's the most artistic bag in my collection. Um, it has one big pocket, uh, one big compartment, and then a small compartment here or a small pocket. And then there's also a back pocket here. It comes with an adjustable and uh, removable strap with the leather, with the brown leather. And what else? So I, I really love this one. Um, I've been using her, but I've uh, stored her again because I don't want to really damage her. her but yeah, I really like this. Let me take you. Uh, let me give you a close-up look of the bag. Yeah, and I don't have a saddle bag in my collection. I think so. Yeah, most artistic bag. Okay, there is also another category which is the most sentimental one, but I don't have any bag in that category probably because i'm not too sentimental on things um especially on with bags and i don't have i don't know um i don't put too much sentimentality on my bags i just bought them because i like them um yeah it's kind of weird i tried looking at my collection and you know Decide, but I, I I didn't really find anything that would make me say it's my most sentimental bag. So yeah. So for the next uh, category, most bang for your buck. So this one is the Cassie 19, um, in the off, in the chalk color. Uh, the reason why it's the most bang for my buck because I got this one on sale. And as I said, um, this one is in the color like off white, and it's my first sort of white bag. Um, I'm afraid of white bags actually because I wear dark clothing. Um, but I just sprayed this one with a leather protectant, and then I don't think a lot about it. So so far, there is no color transfer here. You see a lot of reviews here on YouTube, and I also have one. Uh, this one I had specialized um, the the hang tag with my initials, and yeah. So 
I really love it and I'm glad that I got this bag before it got phased out. Although I would want the black one as well, but yeah. So this is my most bang for your buck mom, uh, bag. For the most ladylike, I think this one. So this is my Tate bag. Let me fold this one again. Yep, so this is the Tate bag. This is the, I think the regular one. They have a new Tate that came out recently, but this one is the old model. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but for me, there's something about it, about this bag that screams ladylike or feminine. Probably because of this one, of the ribbon here. And then, because of its shape as well, it's very, I, I don't know, it's very different again, although it's structured. Um, what else? It's something about the bag. So again... Uh, it has triple compartments, front and back pockets, and then there's a middle compartment here. And it comes with a uh, adjustable and removable strap. So I haven't used it yet again, um, but because I'm before I'm a bit afraid of the glove tan leather, but now not so much. So I'll try and use this bag. This use this bag. Um, yeah. Alright, so this is my most ladylike bag. This is the, what they call this, the biggest splurge. So, I think this one is my biggest splurge because this one is the most expensive uh, coach bag that I own, I think. Um, so, yeah, so I've mentioned it before because this one is also my one of my most complimented bags. Probably the Madison also will be my biggest splurge. Let me try and find the bag. So this is also my biggest splurge. So this is the Madison shoulder bag in black leather. Um, I've used this as well and I really love it. This one was not on sale. The other colors I think went on sale but if it went on sale I didn't catch it but yeah I paid full price for this one so I guess this two, these two bags are my most um, expensive uh, coach bags so this is these two are my biggest splurge okay so that's it for this video um, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below I'm sorry if it feels a bit rushed because I'm seeing my camera battery blinking so I felt like it will die on me any second. But yeah, but anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you stay safe and take care. Bye!